Smuzzy in the Dave Cave. Very tired, Smuzzy. Been at work all week. Very physically demanding job. Looks beautiful now. Very pleased with it. Uh, got a text message from the missus. Can you shout hello, missus? Hello. Saying that our local Smites had toys in. And when I said to her, what are the chances they've actually got them in? She said, no, it shows that our one has them in stock. And because Smythe is on the way past, I couldn't help but go in after we absolutely promised ourselves that we weren't going to buy any more toys because we didn't really want to spend any more money on the toys. Uh, so to celebrate our being frugal, I went and bought the toy. I also went in there and said, have you got one of these things? And they went, oh, no, we can't find one. We can't find one. At which point, one of the club people, just an, an average dude, was in the shop and went, do you mean this one? And I'm like, yes. So I instantly snagged it and ran off and straight away saw something else that I also really, really want from this line. So uh, I was going to open it up and just play with it because um, it's not all about unboxings all the time and that sort of thing. However... Emily said, no, you must talk about it. And I said, no, I don't want to. And she said, you must talk about it. So we compromised and I'm doing what she's telling me to. Now, uh, this is Siege Barricade. Why is this important? Well, firstly, we call him Barry because he's Barry Cade. Secondly, um, I love Barricade and I've got no real... In fact, when I say I've got no real idea why, I know exactly why I love Barricade as much as I love Barricade. And that's because... I'm going to upset some people here. I don't care. G1 is silly. And whenever G1 bad guys stand there, the G1 bad guys are never really bad. They're all full of bit bravado and boasty. And I'm so bad. And I'll bully children and stuff like that. They don't do anything. They all just stand there and go, rah, 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 and, and just fail miserably. Barricade, 2007, Transformers, the live action movie. Grade A badass, horrible, horrible, soul destroyingly, I want to pulp your flesh. Barricade was. Because I missed out on a lot of the early stuff and I lost, uh, missed out on the stuff that was in the middle. Megatron, supposed to be the world's worst bad guy, idiot. Just go on about his plan all the time. Plan never goes to. Barricade in 2007 literally pinned Sim, Sam down and said, if you don't tell me what I need to know, I'm going to just destroy you. And I like that. I, I think he's a con that's a con. He's a real con. He's going to murder you. He's going to absolutely murder you. So you've got all those things and stuff. You've all seen this stuff. Wow, that's very nice. Look at that. That is very, very nice. And I like that. I don't know what we're going to do with that, but I'm going to save that and keep that because that looks just... Very, very nice. Now, I'm going to waffle while I cut away twisty ties. Look at the legs. Look at his legs. That is beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to take it out and show you properly. Woo! Throw the scissors. Don't do that at home, kids. Ah, bow, bow, bow. Comes with a purple light bar on the top, which I approve of. That's very, very nice. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. None of this is on camera. You'll just have to go with it. Um, so Siege, or rather the new thing that's not Siege, but is Siege all at the same time. That new star screen is rather nice. And uh, Emily doesn't like it, but I really like it. I like it enough that when I saw it today, I thought, I'm going to need two of those because we need one for robot and one for plane mode. And have them next to each other and in one of the glass boxes in the living room. Because I like that toy enough. And it makes me very happy. Now, Siege. What do I think of Siege generally? Because I don't really do Hasbro stuff anymore. And I don't do Hasbro stuff anymore. A, because it looks like children's toys. And I've gone out of children's toys and started buying ridiculously expensive replicas. Because um, that's just what I'm enjoying at the moment. However, I've got Hound. And Hound feels very, very well put together. And I got Optimus, and Optimus feels very, very well put together. And generally, I'm, I'm, I'm liking what they've got to offer. I'm liking the line. Now, Barricade from Siege, which is odd because I don't know quite why he's part of Siege, but he is. Now, bing, there we go. Look at that. He has a very, very stern face. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Oh, no, that's me. 
There we go. Look at that. That is very, very nice. Why it's gold, I'll never know, but he's got beady little red eyes. I'm just going to move him around for a little minute and see. There's some good and there's some bad. And I don't know how he transforms, but it can't be that hard. Now, now. The one thing that I'm most impressed with about Siege Line, OK, and this is continuing the theme going on because this is just one of those open the box and have a play with it moments that I like to do. This toy forward and back is stiff out to the side is very, very lightly ratcheted. Forward stiff out to the side stiff all friction joints elbow stiff. Really, really, really this is good. This is well put together stuff. When I got Ricochet the other day, it's quite nice. This is much better than quite nice. I really, really like this. This is very, very nice. So let me show you some of the stuff that you did. Let's get in nice and close. I've got my big uh, miniature painting light on. It's not ideal. However, that really, really, really makes me happy. This purple stuff on the legs really, really, really makes me happy. And the one thing I love more about all of this is this isn't crap. This isn't cheap toy tap. This is really, really nicely put together. So you're going to fold that down like, I'm going to keep that up, fold that down. And then that's going to plug in. I've never done this before. I've not watched any videos on how this works or anything like that. Ah, OK, so that's going to plug in like that under there. That's going to go down there like that. And those two are going to go together like that. Look, that's pretty. Mm, yeah. And again, tolerances. Tolerances making me very, very happy. Now, I'm going to start just pulling stuff, seeing where we end up. That's got, it's got a lovely waist joint. Look, look at that. Yes. Now, I can see hinges. That's going to go up like that. They go up like that. That's going to go up like that. I don't know how this one transforms. I'm going to turn you off and come back because I'm just going to go and play with it and then I'm going to turn him into a brum brum car and we'll talk about that. Now I bottled out of that because I didn't know how to do it and I was like, I don't want to break my toy because I've only just got my toy. All you do is you take that and you pull that like that. Woo! Like, oh, that's good. It's just, it is. It's very nice. Oh, that's going to fold that way. And then we're going to fold these in like this. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, you beauty. Oh, you. This isn't a review of how to transform the toy. It's just what I think of it. Can I do it first time in one go with no mess in a bat? Oh, no, that... Mm, that's got to go up like that and then the arms are going to go like that and then that's going to fold in like that is it is that going to go like that that's going to go like that because that's how the wheels stick out and then that's going to fold back like that a little bit like the universe uh lambos still a good mold it's very good mold uh like that and then that's going to go down like that and then that's going to go like that and then that's going to go like that and then that's going to go like that and then we have this enormous great big golfing gap in between oh look oh now i will admit i will openly admit i will openly sit here and say yes there is one problem with these ridiculously complicated third party super duper toys is that you can't just get a ridiculously complicated third party super duper toy and transform it out of the box this after dropping it on the floor let's see if it survived the drop test yeah she's a beauty that's like that that pegs in there like that that pegs in there like that. That pegs in there like that. They go under there like that. There's an awful lot of peggerage on this. There's an awful lot of 
just making sure stuff sticks together. Oh my word, look at that. That is super sexy. I am elated. That is absolutely beautiful. That light bar then plugs in the top because I'm assuming that doesn't because they don't want to package it. <gasps> look at that. Are you ladies and man 217? That doesn't stay together very well. There we go. Now, okay. Size wise, average. Slightly bigger than I expected. Price, pretty good, actually. Not bad. $16.99 from Smythe today. Uh, has it got a robot underneath? It's got a folded up man underneath with a visible head. If you were to turn the head around before you transformed it into a car mode, you wouldn't necessarily guess <coughs> that that is made of Brum Brum car. I really, 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 really like that. Now, I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. I'm rubbish at this reviewing stuff these days. I just don't have the patience for it. I like to enjoy my toys and I like you to see me enjoying my toys. I realised a while ago, none of you give an absolute funt about what the toy does. Most of the people that watch any of this tap watch it because I've got a stupid, excitable face. And whenever I like something, I go, woo, and like it. And I like this. This is good. So open the door. Open the door. Now, this has got two. Let's see if I can show you. Can you see there are two pegs there? One, two, three. Bosh! Peg at the top, peg at the bottom. Both of those pegs peg into corresponding holes in the backs of the legs. I like that. That's good. It means it's got no pingage. It doesn't fall apart. So we're going to take the arms, pull the arms down like that. Never played with this before. All kind of works nicely. It's good. Take that. Pull that up. It's on a, a hingy hinge there like that. Look. And then we're going to take the legs and we're just going to grab that and pull all of that and pull it down nice and straight. And then we're going to take the feet arch and move the feeties round like that. And then you're going to take the heel spurs that are there and go pull them out, pull them apart. The purple. Very, very nice. Probably the best part of it. I've still not got a movie masterpiece barricade. I've still not got a movie masterpiece bumblebee. If you have either of those items for sale at a decent price, I probably don't want to know because I'll end up buying them anyway. But those are the two things that I really want out of my toy collecting at the moment. I want a bumblebee and I want a barricade. Uh, so we're going to take these things and oh, look at those wheels. They're made of transparent purple plastic. That's very nice. Take that, move it out sideways. Take that out, move it out sideways so he does that. Can you see? Very nice. And then you're going to take the hole in the bonnet, pop the, he says. I wonder how you do that. Oh, that's, so there's a thingy in there. Thingy in there. I'm going to take that, pop that up. Pop that up, which became his abdomen. That was folded underneath. You're going to do the abdomen thing. Then you're going to take the bit in the middle. Then you're going to push that down. That's going to go all the way down and fold back on itself. Then it's going to sit behind the hingy hinge like that. Oh, my God. Look, that is a hole in the back of it. So it's like Masterpiece Bumblebee bonnet. You're going to take that, move that down inside. And the, the, the long thing is going to go in the hole. Hey, like that. Then you're just going to pull the top over, get the head to stick through. Then you take the abdomen piece, clip that in, and now we have barricade back like that. Move the wings ever so slightly, give him some dynamism. And then all you're going to do is arms down, arms down, bend the elbow, back, round, bend the elbow. Rotate the waist. See? Never played with it before. Easy transformation. I haven't, I haven't, that's, it's, I've missed that. I've missed that. I mean, look, this, this. Now, I love this. I love this. I couldn't love this anymore. I love this. But then the person who gave me this gave me this and, and I started fiddling with it. They looked at me and they went, are you really not going to use the instructions? And at that point, I was like, oh, that's like a warning sign. That is the... Minus 10 points, you must look at the instructions. This, don't need any instructions, they're still in the book, look. I haven't unfolded them. Woo, who needs that rubbish? Toys! Comes with a gun. 
two little guns. Very, very pleased with this. Very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Don't need any more of them. Just a standalone figure. He's going to gonna take some photos later in of him fighting Ricochet. But um, Siege, Barricade. Went and got it specifically today. Don't really care about the rest of the line because it's full of stuff that, frankly, I already bloody own because it's all fucking G1 stuff again. This, however, Barricade. Couldn't ask for any more. Kind of want all the barricades. Not all of them. I mean, most of them are upstairs sat in a box. All the nice ones. This is a nice one. My name, my name. My name has been Smuzno. This is Friday night and I'm very tired. But I have celebrated with a nice new toy.